Hey guys, it's Leo Stargazer. I'm here today with a reading in honor of the sun moving into Scorpio and the beginning of Scorpio season. Scorpio season and the sun moving into Scorpio is definitely a signal that things are shifting. We have an eclipse at the end of the week that will cap all of that off, but the sun moving into Scorpio and Scorpio season starting definitely is the first real sign and the first real feelings that we'll get that a transformation is occurring and we are moving into a new era. With that said, Scorpio season is going to call on us to be focused. Scorpio season is going to call on us to be intense. The sun in Scorpio is going to help us be ambitious and brave, but it's also going to maybe make our emotions very intense and maybe potentially a little extreme. There's nothing wrong with extremes and Scorpio season of all the seasons is definitely a time to engage with extremes. But I really do think that determination, focus, and intuitive bravery is going to be really key this season. I think we we need to use this focus to really make things happen and be able to cope with some intense shifts. And I think that the sun in Scorpio and Scorpio season is definitely a signal and definitely a time for that to begin. So I wanted with all of that, I wanted the tarot spread we did today to be pretty simple. I've chosen a three card spread. We will just be doing past, present, and future. Because this is a moment of change, I want to look at the past, think about Virgo season, think about Libra season, We're still in eclipse season as of right now, but that'll end this week. And then I want to move to the present where we are now, right at the start of this transition, this transformation. I want to know where we are right at this moment. As this season begins, as eclipse season ends, I want to know where we are in the present. So we'll do a present card, then the future. What is this transition bringing? What is this transformation causing for us? Where will this end up potentially? Hopefully the future card will show us that. So where we maybe end up at the end of Scorpio season. So the past before Scorpio season began, the present as we are beginning Scorpio season and in it, and then the future where we will be afterwards. So hopefully this spread can help us. As I shuffle, let's just leave all that aside for now and focus on ourselves. Focus on where we are on this journey Focus on where you are just today, just right now. How are you feeling? Are your emotions intense? Are you kind of even keeled right now? Are you down? Whatever it is, let's just focus on that, own that, and then clear our minds and look at the past, present, and the future. Okay, in the past position, the card that I draw is... The Wheel of Fortune. In the present, the card that I draw is the Knight of Pentacles. And in future, the card that I draw is the page of pentacles reversed. Okay, so a very interesting spread, very clear messaging, I think, which is, I'm a little surprised by, (laughs) Um, but I'm, I'm happy to see it. I'm interested in these pentacles court cards, but let's start with the wheel of fortune in the past position. I think this makes a lot of sense. I think this is showing that during Virgo and Libra seasons, there was this sense of a lot of change, a lot of transformation began during those seasons. We had a Mercury retrograde. Eclipse season began in Libra season. So there there's there was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of turnings of the wheel, a lot of moments of clarity, and then moments of deep dive, a lot of focus and 
intellectual energy, but then a lot of passion and balance. And so seeing the wheel here doesn't surprise me. Um, We have had to accept a lot of change. We've had to accept a lot of variety in our lives. And it makes a lot of sense. So the past is the past. And the wheel will still turn, you know, the wheel is timeless, you know, it's it's constantly turning. Accepting that is key, and maybe it's also an indication that you have accepted that, that we, if we haven't, then we definitely need to accept that the wheel turned and the wheel will turn going forward. In the present, we got the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles showing up in the present, so meaning as the sun is in Scorpio, or at the beginning of that transit, the beginning of Scorpio season, the Knight of Pentacles shows up to possibly reveal that we are going to be rooted, we're going to be steady, but that that might be a challenging position to be in, and it might need a sense of deeper connection. The Knight of Pentacles, in a reading about Scorpio, definitely implies that we are missing a deeper connection, or we might miss a deeper connection or the need for one. The good thing, though, is that the night shows me that where you are right now is a rooted place. You're focused on your resources. You're focused on keeping a balanced vision of action, which is interesting. I did a reading for Mercury in Scorpio yesterday, and that called for a passionate approach, a definite, active, borderline frenzied approach to the intellect. Well, here, the Knight of Pentacles shows up to reveal a slight different influence. So I think the sun in Scorpio, or at least where we are as the sun enters Scorpio, is a place of rootedness. So stay rooted, stay focused. I said earlier, focus is gonna be kind of really important I'm seeing for Scorpio season. Stay focused. The Knight of Pentacles wants you to, certainly. Um, If you're there, that's great. If you're not, find a steady space to stand on, at least this week, at least as we get through this final eclipse. Let's find some rooted ground but start to think about how you can dive a little deeper. That Mercury reading also focused and spoke to a balance. So the Knight of Pentacles is is calling for balance. Showing up in a Scorpio reading, we're gonna need some emotional depth here. With all that said, in the future, so where we will end up, potentially, is the Page of Pentacles reversed. The Page of Pentacles reversed, especially showing up right next to the Knight of Pentacles upright, tells me that in the future, we are going to be using the resources we've earned. We are going to be using the knowledge that we gained from our intense focus. We're going to be using that either in some kind of extreme way where we kind of spend it all at once <laughs> kind of idea. This idea that that there's the potential that everything we gain from Scorpio season, once Scorpio season ends, we may be just kind of ready to use up everything we gained. And that may be a good thing. It may be that you got an excess of stuff, an excess of knowledge, an excess of resources um, that you're ready to spend frivolously uh, once Sagittarius season begins, maybe. There's another interpretation, though, for the Page of Pentacles reversed that I think ties in with that, but also kind of is probably what I'm seeing here. And that is that he can represent a time of rest, a time of mental ease, meaning that he can represent that all of the energy and all of the effort we've put into our really deep, intense focus during Scorpio season. This, what what I'm seeing is that from that focus, we may be offered the opportunity if we engage with that fully, meaning if we engage with the inner and the outer, if we engage with this steady, possibly energized, but definitely rooted focus on whatever it is we're working on, whether it's ourselves, whether it's a project at work, whether it's a personal project, whether it's some kind of relationship, some kind of focused energy that was definitely gonna be needed this season. And I think that the page reversed is maybe indicating that once that's over, we will be able to take a break, relax, use the resources we've gained, and heal from this 
potentially pretty intense season. It's a different intensity to what Virgo and Libra season and eclipse season was. The wheel showing up in the past, showing this kind of ton, lots of cycles shifting and lots of movement and all of that. I think I think it's it's a different movement than that. It's a different transition or transformation than that. It's definitely more rooted. Based on the Knight of Pentacles here, I think it's going to be more rooted. It's going to definitely require an inner and outer focus, a connection to directional and intellectual pursuits, but the need and the necessity that Scorpio is going to demand for us to dive deep into our psyche, into our passions. The Knight of Pentacles is missing that, and he needs it, though. And maybe the Page of Pentacles Reverse is saying that if you can focus, if you can stay focused, that you can maybe have that balance by utilizing all those resources. If you do the hard work of balancing out the inner and outer, of this intense, deep, focused energy, if you can deal with all of that, stay rooted, that maybe in the future we can use some of those resources. Or at least we'll be able to take a break from having to dive so deeply or focus so thoroughly. I'm gonna choose to look at it that way. So I think the key message here is that at the beginning of Scorpio season, in Scorpio season, let's stay focused, let's stay intense, allow for intensity, especially intense emotions, allow those to come to the surface, deal with them in an intense way, but try to stay really rooted and focused. But that that can still be really fun. Um, but once Scorpio season's over, I think all of that intensity can be put to really effective use. And if not, at least we'll be able to take a break and relax. There will still be astrology. The wheel will still turn. But if we do the focused work we need to do this season, while still engaging with intensity and passion, I think we will end up in a place where we can chill out a little bit. <laughs> I hope so. I'll see you next time.